Morning everyone, hello, happy, no when I'm filming this, November 25th, it's a, no, November 26th, so it's officially less than a month till Christmas, it's, yes, Zara's here by the way, good morning, morning, um, it is Christmas tree collection day, the time is just, well, it's 5 to 7 in the morning, we, we set our alarms at 5.30, but could we get out of bed? No. No, we couldn't, we really couldn't, we haven't even showered, and I'm not even gonna lie, haven't even brushed our teeth, that's, that's, but we've been drinking hot drinks. Yeah. <clears throat> My it's... throat. I'm not even awake. <laughs> and I have chewing gum. Oh, Grace. We've um we've left Maggie just in the kitchen. She was fast asleep. She was like, why are we up so early? Nuzzled into my neck, <laughs> breathing so loudly. Every time my alarm went off, she was like, <sighs> uh... <laughs> like me too. <laughs> it's um it's quite the time. The reason we're doing this so early is because uh, as I've said before, Newcomb Garden Flower Market, where we get all of our foliage and we got our tree last year, it's a trade market, they close at 10am, and they're only open Fridays and Saturdays, we're busy tomorrow, and pretty much every weekend for the foreseeable, so if we were going to get a Christmas tree, it had to be now or never, really. it had to be today, and it had to be early, or we just couldn't do it at all, so, plus I think getting Christmas trees in London is so much harder, because at yeah. home, all of the supermarkets have them. Yeah. Here, the supermarkets have five. And they're tiny. And they go. Yeah, and I think that's it because everyone is just really wanting to go all out for Christmas this year because of last year. And it just makes sense. So, yeah, we're going to go in. And, yeah, last year our tree was so good. Like, we're going to struggle to trump that tree, I think. But I have faith. Um, I don't know because I feel like our trees have got better each year. Yeah, true. True, actually. Yeah, this will be our fourth real Christmas tree. Gosh. Mad. Oh, the time flies, eh? We're inside the market. It's actually really quiet, which is so good. So, um, Zara wants to look in the Christmas shop first. And then we're gonna look at the trees. Oh my god, they're here! These ones are all wrapped up, but they've got a few that are out and about, so you can get a size for scale. That's Jesus, that's a huge one! <laughs> god, imagine! No! <laughs> that's a big tree! So we've got the tree, and this is how we are transporting at home. We've got the rope. <laughs> Honestly, who says having a mini, you can't get a Christmas tree on, mate. Let's give this a go. That is one Christmas tree attached to the mini. <laughs> New Covent Garden flower market, it's been an absolute pleasure. I am overjoyed. Right, let's get this home. We attached the base to the front because I read online it's better if the air gets through it so you don't lose as many needles. I think we've done a great job. Right, the tree survived. It's not too far of a drive from Batsy to us, so this was a fantastic, fantastic effort from both of us. So we're gonna unwrap it now, Zara's just getting involved, and then we're gonna pop it in water till Sunday. Good morning, so today is Saturday, and we are off to Dalesford, which is about two hours from London, um, so we're gonna have a lovely Christmassy day out. Dalesford is a um, garden centre slash farm shop place so um i've seen it online it looks really lovely so we're all wrapped up i've got my barber on to keep me nice and warm and then i actually picked this up yesterday in the black friday sale this is also from barber it's merino lamb's wool so it's nice and warm so we're going to be lovely and toasty it's going to pack up maggie's things in the car and then we're going to go I packed us a little blondie brownie parcel. I made these um, midweek, so I wrapped them up for all me and Zara for the car trip. Um, we're just in Chelsea, so we haven't actually managed to leave London yet. The traffic is a little bit bad, but I'm hoping we'll get there soon. And Maggie's just chilling in the back. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. She travelled so well. We pop her bed there, so she's all good. So we're about 15 minutes away from Dillsford, and it's had a smattering, a smattering, a splattering, a smidge of snow, which is crazy. My family home in Durham has had quite substantial snow. The Midlands have been, you know, had a little dust in too. It's quite hard to see out the window. It's still majority green, however, you kind of see. Do you know what I have visions of? We're going to be in there, there'll be no windows. La di la di la, we're going to come out, and I don't know how I'm oh. going to get a sports car through snow. <laughs> 
Yeah, Sarah's car is not equipped for the snow at all. It's quite low. Uh, it's fine. And to be honest, I don't think we're in for that much of it. It's still November. It does usually snow in November, but not a lot. So um, it's fine. So yeah, 15 minutes away. And uh, we're just going to have a lovely old, lovely old afternoon. It's, it's just nice to get out of London. And the drive has been beautiful. If you ever get the chance to visit Dalesford, I mean, we haven't been so far. But the drive to it, through Oxford and all of the small towns, has been gorgeous. So we're inside Dalesford. They've got their Christmas decor up. Look how beautiful this is. Got all of their terracotta pots and vases here too. Wow. Naturally, we've gravitated towards the um, dog <laughs> accessories and gifts. There we are, Maggie. It's okay. It's official, Dalesford have the most gorgeous interior I think I've ever seen in my life. This is beautiful. Wow. I mean, look at that kitchen setup. Ah, Maggie, you fit right in, love. You fit right in. So we just pitched him outside. I've got a mulled wine. Zara's gone for a coffee. I'm gonna buy the, the fire burner because it is very cold today. It's like two degrees. Um, and they've got the fire pit over there as well, so it's very, very lovely. So we're just having a walk through one of the local little villages with Maggie before we go and have some lunch in a pub. It's beautiful, lovely places it's like this, it's just like a place that time forgot, it's gorgeous. Probably gonna get told off for filming this, but my goodness, the, house, the houses around here are just something else. <laughs> Gosh, we don't really belong here, do we? <laughs> it is beautiful, but um, yeah. Morning, so it is Sunday and it is tree day. It is the time, honestly guys, I'm not gonna lie, this genuinely feels like the equivalent of Christmas day for me. I We'll go as far as saying decorating the Christmas tree is up there with one of my favorite things to do throughout the whole festive season. As you can see behind us, the hallway tree is up. That's been giving us loads of joy this past week. Very glad we put that up when we did. However, the time has come to bring in the big boy. <laughs> the tree has just been on the balcony for the past two days, soaking up the water. Um, I made a fresh cut just to make sure it was nice and, you know, can be as hydrated as it possibly can do, especially when you're getting a real Christmas tree, bringing it inside, the temperature change and all that, you know, you wanna make sure it stays alive as long as it possibly can. So what we're gonna do is clear behind us. So the armchair is gonna go in Zara's room and then the, yes it is. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, where, where else is it gonna go? That doesn't match my thing. Oh, well, it's for a couple of weeks, honey. It's not, it's for like a month and a half. Well, then I was going to, you just want the bookcase instead? You can do the bookcase in your room? No. Or is it, where, all of this is going in my room? The shed. Zara calls my bedroom the shed because it is my office. It's like a delivery depot. It's a Maybe bedroom. Maybe we should buy or rent a storage unit for the month of Christmas oh, every yeah. year. Oh, yeah, because that's super sensible and really financially savvy, isn't it? <laughs> So we've decided that we're actually going to keep, well, temporarily keep the bookcase there. Zara thinks it might look nice and cosy, uh, so we, we, don't, <laughs> we don't really know the scale of the tree because we bought it wrapped. So, um, we just have a lot of trust in the, this cockney guy. Yeah, he was like, don't worry, it will be nice and bushy when you get I home. can promise you that. And we were like, okay. It's your last day, isn't it? Because if we come back, you're not going to be here. No. So we're going to bring it in um, and hope that it uh, is, is fine. <laughs> Wow, Maggie, look at the tree! <laughs> oh no, I hate this bit. <laughs> oh my god! We know our. Oh, maybe not actually because of my historical! So the tree is in, and Maggie is wearing her reindeer outfit, <laughs> and we've just found a ladybug. Do you call them ladybirds or ladybugs? I call them ladybugs. I actually think you can't call them lady anything now. What do you mean? Like a gender. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe they're just a bug then. Ah, Maggie, no, no, don't no, eat it. No, no, she's not eating it. She's don't just intrigued. Maggie, what's I don't think she's ever seen one before. Look at it. It's so small. Must have been on the tree outside. We're going to go and pop it back outside, aren't we, Maggie? Move. Ah! <laughs> Hang on. Please keep it. 
keep them away from me. <laughs> you're not tall enough. What do you mean I'm not tall enough? enough. <laughs> I need to be on your shoulders. <laughs> She's a bit confused. Like, why do you guys put a giant tree? Show everyone you're out. In your living room. Give them a spin. Look, she's got her Christmas outfit on. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, we just spun the tree around. And it's already, can you see? It's already starting to drop, Zara. Yeah, it is. Which mean. is very reassuring. Do you know what? 30 pounds each. And it's gorgeous. <laughs> very, very happy with that. So we're just going to leave this now. Go walk to Waitrose to get some bits for a roast. And when we come back, we're going to decorate it. And put up the fireplace garland too. Okay, right. We're ready to decorate the tree. However, as you can see, we're in normal jumpers and we need to be in something more festive don't we yes including that and including you maggie moo right are you ready three yes. two one ah look at us <laughs> this christmas and we've got our own root off Over us. Look. Show them her little antlers. look at her little antlers <laughs> maggie are you excited it's your first christmas my love oh. what do reindeers do nay <laughs> I mean, we certainly don't do that. Oh, is that a horse? That's a horse. Right. <laughs> We've allowed the tree to drop. So now we need to go and get the decorations out. Start with the lights and then we'll move on from she there. She really looks like she's questioning her Look at you. Like, what is this? I'm dressed up again. <laughs> Okay, so we've just got all of the decor down from storage and honestly, I say this every year, but I am so glad that we pack it away like sensibly because it just makes decorating so much easier. Um, and these are decorations, genuinely guys, that we've collected over many years. Um, I've had some of these from different travels, from Spain, Italy. Zara's brought some from her little journeys too. So we've kind of just collected them all together. Like this one was from... This was one we got in Paris, wasn't it? I did get this in Paris. This was from Maison de Monde. I remember that specifically. This one actually did get in a garden centre. I remember that. This is one Zara got from home last year. Where was the really nice one? This is These are the new ones from John Lewis that I bought this year. But yeah, we just have like a real nice eclectic mix of reds and golds um, that just go beautifully together. I just think, I know a lot of people do have themes with their trees and honestly when they come together they're beautiful but with us, it's more so just a collection of really, really nice ornate baubles. And then this box here is just ones that we use to fill the tree out. So we got those in John Lewis last year. And then these, are we gonna do these lights this year, Zara? Yeah. I, I say that because every year we pop the window lights up, something goes drastically wrong. Zara fell, then uh -huh. I fell. Fell? Face planted. She did, the wall. No, the window, sorry. So this is our third Christmas in this flat. So hopefully, fingers crossed, you've done it, I've done it. This time the dog will just be hiding from them. And then we have the stockings to pop on the fireplace. And then these are the lights that I bought in Home Bargains to go on the fireplace too. There is just one thing I need Make my wish come true All I want for Christmas Christmas. Relax, special edition. Oh, of course it is. Christmas. The ghost it is. It's only going to be his first. Can you believe what, what we saw him live? Truly a Day vision. <laughs> Would you look at you? What a vision. <laughs> we've just sorted ourselves out some snacks. We've got some stolen mince pies and we're going to have some Prosecco. Why decorate a Christmas tree when you can decorate my ears? Look at those! I look like Pat Butcher from EastEnders. You know, with her big old... She's dead. Pat? 
Alexa, is Pat Butcher dead? No. Um, and we're about to put the baubles on, which I'm very excited for. So, um, <laughs> under, under Zara's instruction, I have to keep these on, apparently. Look, I don't know why. I think it's funny when you face that way. Like, no, 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 that way, and just get close. Stunning. We're about to do the light reveal. We've had to use three sets. Last year we only needed two. This year, the third set I actually bought to do the fireplace, we've had to put it on it. It's our biggest tree to date. I said to Zara, it's like we're going out with a bang. Are we ready? Three, two, two one. Oh, stop oh it. Oh my God. Stop it. She's not at all bothered. Sleeping past away. <gasps> wow. I love it. Oh, <laughs> so we're now gonna start with the mantelpiece and I love doing this. The first time we did it was last year and it's just lovely. We aren't gonna go as big as last year because holy moly, it was it was big. Um, so we're just gonna put the full garland on. I've still left the nails in from last year so it's gonna be really easy to pop on. And then I'll show you the kind of foliage that we've got. But um, yeah, I can't wait. Okay, so I've just spiked some foliage in the left and the right sides. So it kind of just bulks it out and then we can work in the middle. So this is just the base. Um, this foliage I think was about, I can't really, I'm not really sure how much it was. It's a really substantial clippings. So I'm gonna keep some of this for a tablescape as well for when I do the um, video, which will be coming very soon. So um, yeah, I won't use all of this. <laughs> Otherwise it'll look like a forest in our fireplace. So the base of the garland is done and now I'm gonna add in some of this. It smells gorgeous. I'm not, do you know what this is called? No. No, I've completely forgot the name of this. I am the worst when it comes to plants. However, I just really liked it. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm gonna spike some of this in now. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you the reveal of the living room in three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> it looks like a grotto. <laughs> it's kind of struggling to um, focus on all of it because there is a lot. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is, this is the finished result. This is the tree. And then we've got the hallway tree <laughs> through there. Excessive, a tiny bit. Lovely, absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely love this. The trees came together very, very nicely. And I just think it looks so bright. And then obviously we've got the garland. I finished it off with some orange slices and I just secured it in with um, a couple of nails. So it's all good to go. I've lit the candles. It just looks absolutely wonderful. And obviously as this dries, the smells will start becoming through. Lit the candles on the bottom, it's gorgeous. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you have enjoyed a lovely look at our Christmas tree. Honestly, I, I'm i saying it, it's my favourite tree we've ever done. It's beautiful. I feel like every single year they get better and better and I don't even know how that's possible. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. Happy 1st of December when this goes live. I hope you have the most gorgeous December and start to your Christmas period as you can. Expect very, very festive videos coming your way. I don't think I'll be doing videos every single day, but there'll be lots to look forward to. So yeah, have a very merry start to your Christmas. Lots of love to you all. Take care. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.